Here are 10 things you must know before buying a new smart TV or upgrading your current TV. Now, this is because the pace of which the technology is growing in smart TV is so fast, if you're not aware of this, you could miss a lot. So if you want to know these 10 things, come with me. Let's go check it out. Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot. If this is your first time, <laughs> welcome to the channel. You might want to click on that subscribe button to be a part of the strong community. So let's jump into this one straight away. 10 things you must know before you even talk about getting or upgrading your smart TV. So number one that's going to quickly break down to you is screen technology. I, I realize that many people are actually confused about LCD, LED, uh, OLED, QLED, Mini LED, LCD is probably the oldest one. You don't need to buy an LCD. If you're buying your next smart TV in 2023, 2024, you don't need to buy LCD. LED, yeah, it's manageable. If you're buying LED, make sure you're buying from a known company or a quality, a top quality company like Sony, Samsung, LG. You can still get a great LED from them. Then the next way you should focus is OLED. So OLED is organic light emitting diode, if you already don't know that. OLED is actually using this, uh, you know, individual pixel you can turn off every part of the uh, screen to become completely black you know that's deep black and contrast high contrast that makes the picture quality look good so then there is another one there is quantum dot led that one is even better and higher quality and if you could get it from sony samsung or lg come on the picture quality is sweet then there is also mini led it's kind of improved version of oled but mini led actually has this resistance to screen burn or ghost image so the weak point of oleds is that the tv is on for a long time and there is static image for a very long time hours it might just start in a ghosting or just showing a reflex of that image uh, which you can notice in some screen especially samsung phones or some other phones that are using oled being used over time number two is very very critical <laughs> you are TV, smart TV warranty does not cover screen damage. You know, many people don't actually bother to read, you know, terms and condition and all that. They just say, ah, there is warranty, there's one year warranty, and maybe they just go and break it or do something, and they will come back, say it's warranty, then you'll be told, um, this warranty does not cover screen damage, and you'll be like, what? Why is it warranty? Yes, uh, smart TV's warranty does not cover screen damage. Uh, but there are some dealers or, or OEMs that can actually sell you insurance insurance one year insurance uh, cover for the screen if you get that please take it with your two hands don't ever if your seller if you are a dealer if your oem is giving insurance screen insurance um for your smart tvs do get it also if you can you can actually take all risk insurance from your insurance company to cover your smart tv it's very very important because the replacement of your smart tv screen could sometimes be about 90 percent of the cost of the tv so <laughs> in most cases some people like ah, let me just dump it and buy a new one Number three, I will encourage you to get the best for your budget, but have a touch of feature proof. So what does that mean? If you're going to stretch your budget a little bit to get a newer and more important features that are actually feature proof, I will advise you to do that. For a good example, if you want to buy a 1080p uh, resolution of TV, you can add small budget to get a 4K uh, capable TV uh, resolution because in the future you will still enjoy it you know 4k content on it with full resolution and then if you want to get a for a, a smart tv that has a wi-fi maybe you like internet connection i might still tell you to stretch your budget a little bit and get the one that has also an ethernet connection so you have options so there are little little things there that you have to think about feature proving get a tv with a great processor because processors determine the ability to upscale 1080p contents and make them look so great on 4k screen so these are some of things you knew so your budget might be stretched enough to get something that you can hold on and you can watch for the next five years for the next six seven eight ten years and it will still be satisfying that you watch that number four screen build quality from trusted brands <laughs> would deliver better user experience and even after sale customer service if you buy from a better brand uh, let me give you an example if you're buying a tv from sony from samsung or maybe from lg these guys have 
proven not just to build the quality, the highest quality of panels, but they have also been able to understand the color gamut, the uh, color processing, the way they process their colors and everything. And the experience is great. So you can get a, a an OLED from Samsung or maybe from Sony, and then you get a QLED from maybe say, TCL or Hisense or Royal, you will now see that the lower uh, technology from Samsung or, or from Sony will actually deliver better picture uh, experience from maybe Hisense or some other companies. So what they're going to deliver on their product and also the quality they're going to bring to their screen because they actually manufacture this themselves. They, they kind of calibrate the colors and everything by themselves based on years of experience. So don't throw that away. If you like the best picture quality, I'll tell you to go with a trusted brand. And also they tend to give better after sale services. So uh, keep that in mind. Before I go into number five, <laughs> if you watch up to this point, it might be a time again to click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon you know to get videos like this and also follow us on our facebook or tiktok or whatever you're going to watch this from uh, to get more like this so now let me talk about the most important thing that people ask me about smart tv so some ask me do i buy a smart tv an android tv an apple tv or apple tv compatible well, that's actually a relevant question. So let's start from Samsung. Samsung does their own uh, smart uh, TV. Uh, so Samsung does not do uh, Android TV. So keep that in mind. So their smart TV also have the capacity to give you download of every app, Amazon Prime, DSTV, Netflix. You can download it from Samsung store. So you're not missing anything much, but if it's not an Android TV, you probably cannot install an Android TV compatible app or an APK, you know, that can play along with your phone. That notwithstanding, Samsung TVs also are compatible with Apple Airplay and also Apple TV. So you can also download it from the store there and then start enjoying your Apple TV shows right on your Samsung Smart TV. So LG is another one that uses web OS. LG also do have Android TV. So they have some dedicated Android TV. You can also get from them, Sony also have android tv but just know that any tv that is android have the capacity to play uh apple uh, tv and also amazon prime netflix uh, dstv streaming and all that do not buy a new tv that is not more than one year old so when it was manufactured because that means you get to get some newer features so if you're buying a tv that was manufactured 2019 2018 some apps support might be taken away from it like in hisense if you want to use dstv streaming and hisense you have your hisense tv must be manufactured from 2018 and above anything below that can no longer do dstv streaming that is why it's important you get a newer TV when you're buying because the technology is just coming out, features is coming out that uh, you might miss if you are using a very older TV. So in the number six, number seven, I'll talk about uh, protection and processors. I'll talk about upscaling. Upscaling is one of the most important thing, but to make this video not too long, <laughs> I'm going to make it a part two where we'll finish the rest five where I'll talk about upscaling, gaming mode, uh, refresh rates and all that. So make sure you subscribe make sure you follow me to get that and until i see you in that video <laughs> it is peace subscribe i'll see you